Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your host, Theophilus, from Life Journey. Listen, 10 reasons how to be well done and not well damned to hell. Mark 16, verse 16 say, He that believeth and baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Ten S, my friend, to be well done, whether it be be damn, well damn. And the first one, we must be saved by Jesus Christ and not according to our works and good deeds. Number two, we must be satisfied with God's goodness and stop indulging in witchcraft or mystic behavior. Number three, we must serve Jesus Christ only. Not on holiday or Easter. For we must stop stop Sunday worshiping on Sunday. And through the week we are serving Satan. Number five, we must stop dancing to Satan music of the world. Number six, we must stop having sex the wrong way. But be married to the opposite sex, not the same sex. Number seven, salvation is not by work, glory to God, but in faith in Jesus Christ, finish work. Number eight, we must submit to the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us from our sins. And number nine, we must stop serving sin continually. Stop using the excuse of saying, I'm human. Number 10 reason, we must submit or surrender to the mighty power, hallelujah, to heal and to help us to travel the journey of this life. 10 reasons, my friend, how to be well done. Done and not to be well damned. To hell. My friend, as I mentioned to you, hell is a real place. It's a real place, glory to God, in 16, in, in, in Luke 16, hallelujah, 19 and 31. Read that story, my friend. It talk about the rich man and, hallelujah, the poor man, Lazarus. A lot of people is going to hell because your church is not preaching on hell. But hell is a real place. So, well done. God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Or you're going to say, well, damn. He that believe and baptized shall be saved. He that believe not shall be damned. My friend, don't be damned, but be well done. When he say, welcome into my kingdom, prepare for my servant that serve me on earth. My friend, well done, my good and faithful servant. 10 S of well done. Number one, you must save or you must be saved. You must. It's a guarantee that you must be saved. It's a command. You must be saved. According to St. John chapter 3, verse 5, Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou teach come from God. Can no man can do this miracle except thou be with men. Jesus Christ said unto him, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, How can a man be born? Shall enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, it's about man be born of the water 
in the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ said, Marvel not, they are sent to thee. You must be born again. My friend, well done or well damned. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Don't let the turbulent excuse of all your life on earth and God say, depart from me, he workers of iniquity.